Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maritza and I am over from Little Latte Shop. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will attach a screenshot here so you guys can see our Instagram page. Little Latte Shop is a supply shop. We have all sorts of glitter. We have a whole glitter wall as you guys can see right behind me. Uh, we have blank glassware, we have UV resin, rhinestones, and all of the supplies that you guys need to start your own business. So today I'm going to show you guys the newest addition to our shop, which is sublimation wraps and also UV DTF wraps. There is a difference between the two wraps, the sublimation wraps. You do have to press with heat, and I will show you guys how to do that. And then the UV DTF wraps are sticky and you press them on kind of like you would vinyl it is a little bit different to work with than vinyl so i will show you guys how to do that so here are our sublimation prints as well as the uv wraps there's quite a few um you guys can look at every single one of these designs on our website which is linked below i'm going to be sublimating this design onto a double wall glass can so let me show you guys how to. So I have turned on my sublimation machine. I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, sublimation, but let me show you guys first what I am going to be using. So to sublimate and to be able to use our sublimation prints, you will need a either tumbler press, which is this one here, or some type of conventional oven. I've seen people use those as well. Um, you will need for sure some heat resistant gloves. Now I have a couple uh, different ones here and then you will need some type of uh, silicone mat this is just to prevent uh, your cup from touching any of your um, any part of your desk or the table that you're working on or whatever so um, this is the sublimation machine that I have now this is a pink sublimation machine I do also have a blue one right here and they are just a little bit different um, but they basically do the same thing and this is just telling me what temperature to put it at and what time. The temperature suggested is 360 degrees Fahrenheit and the time is 45 seconds. And then you do have to rotate and press twice. So I'm actually going to use 55 seconds. I find that I like how it looks a little bit better when I press just a little bit longer. And then you do need some heat resistant tape. So this is the one I have also listed in my Amazon storefront. This is by Cricut. All right, I'm going to start with our uh, glass can. Our designs are meant for 16-ounce cups. This 12-ounce double wall has the appearance of a 16-ounce, so this will work just fine for this one as well. Let me show you guys how to prep this. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and clean this off with some alcohol. So I am just using some regular alcohol like this. Paper towel to just wipe it all off. Just make sure that there's no lint on here because whenever I press this, I don't want like, you know, lint or anything to press onto it. And whenever you guys get your uh, prints, by the way, they're going to look like they're backwards, but that's just how they're supposed to look. Um, I obviously I'm turning this upside down just because I was holding the cup like that. Uh, but obviously make sure that you're pressing it, you know, the right way. You're not pressing it upside down or anything. And uh, you're going to position the design where you want it so this is kind of the tricky part here you want it to all be you know even and everything once that's about where you want it I like to just tape down the middle and then stretch this all the way tape it like that and then I'm going to go ahead and tape these two sides right there, the top and the bottom there. Like that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start uh, pressing it. So I'm going to start with this side right here facing up. So i um, going to go ahead and close it. You want to make sure that this is tight on your cup. Before you put the cup in there, you definitely can adjust the knobs as needed. Make sure that the cup is tight on there, but not... Too much or it will break the cup definitely have broke some of those in the past and you definitely don't want it to be too loose because it won't press the image correctly so i'm going to wait for the time once that's done i'll be back all right so once it is done i'm going to lift it you will need your glove for this part now 
I'm gonna open it up all the way and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it so that that part is this part right here is now at the bottom so once it's facing down I'm gonna go ahead and press it again and again the time's going once this is done the 55 seconds are done I will come back and show you guys okay once it's done I'm gonna go ahead and open it and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it again and this time I'm only gonna press for 30 seconds so this requires a little bit of math but 55 minus 30 is 25 so I'm gonna lift it again and I'm gonna turn it and same thing I'm only gonna press for 30 seconds or when that number reads 25 so it's been 30 seconds I just took it out and uh, your paper should look a little bit like not white anymore it's gonna have like a little bit of a brown tint to it not super dark as you guys can see but just a little bit so this is what it looks like right now and I'm going to go ahead and uh, peel this off so you guys can see what it looks like and I'm just gonna use some little tweezers I also have these linked below so I'm gonna go ahead and peel this um, tape off okay so let me show you guys what this looks like this is what it looks like once I peel it off my biggest tip is if you're gonna do a double wall uh, make sure that you fill it with some type of like milky liquid it's really gonna have or it's really gonna make these colors pop if you get lines like this, don't worry, this is just from the paper. Once this is not hot anymore, you can go ahead and clean this off with alcohol. So again, this is what it looks like, you guys. And these sublimation prints are available on our website. And I'm going to go ahead and attach a picture of what they look like when they're filled with like a milky liquid. Another tip is if you don't like the way that the sublimation looks on a clear glass can try it on a frosted it really picks up the color a little differently just because with the clear I mean you can see through it and it's like you're almost like picking up the image from the back here so a lot of people won't like that alright guys so I'm gonna go ahead and start now with the UV DTF now I'm gonna go ahead and start first of all with a squeegee I want to make sure that the, the transfer tape is actually gonna pick up my design so this is how I'm gonna do it, and there are multiple ways to apply this, but this is just what is gonna work for me. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by lifting up this clear tape right here. And this is a much slower process than if you're working with vinyl. I recommend that you guys um, also use a surface where your cup is not moving a whole lot but also it's not like impossible to move for this method. I'm gonna take my transfer and first of all, I'm gonna kind of fold it like this before I press it down. Because I don't wanna get any bubbles in that first spot where I'm gonna position it. Bruh. Now once it's on, I'm going to go ahead and turn my cup slowly. and let go and now I'm going to turn it this way and just press as I go then press it down and I'm going to take a squeegee this is probably the most important part here you guys Look at each of the little designs and make sure that you actually squeegee that on. Because when you're trying to remove this um, transfer tape, it's kind of sticky and it actually can rip up, rip off your design. So you see how there's a bubble right here? It's also important that you have something pokey like a needle or a weeding tool. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it, but be careful not to like touch the, the glass or else you will scratch your design and make sure that the actual um, 
any any bubbles I'm just gonna keep popping so that way my design actually touches my cup and you want to make sure you go around the whole cup before you even start lifting this off and now that the design is on the whole cup I can go ahead and start removing the clear film this is also an important step because you don't want to go too fast you guys so this will probably be sped up so um, just make sure that you're actually going really really slow with this part that same side that I that I put down last I'm gonna start with that side when you're working with these you do just have to pull gently you don't need like to pull really hard because actually it will kind of stretch the transfer tape and it'll kind of mess it up or it'll lift your design or rip it so you guys do have to just pull gently and the key is to make sure that your design is already stuck on really well and that's why we use the squeegee so just gently lift up and it should come right off okay so now that we are at the end here keep going slowly and this is how it should look you guys let me show you guys so this is after I've already, you know, went really slowly and also I can kind of just feel the design for any little bubbles, press that down. But overall, that is pretty much it, you guys. That's how easy it is to uh, apply our UV DTF wraps and you don't need to do any more weeding with your vinyl or anything like that. So check out the website, you guys. These are available now as well as the sublimation prints. Let me show you guys the sublimation print again, side by side next to this one. All right, so as you guys can tell, there's a difference. This is more like of a sticker form, almost like vinyl. And then this is within the actual cup. So there's no like scratching or lifting or peeling or anything like that. These are neat as well, just because this uh, design's actually gonna stay within the glass and it's not gonna come off. And then, like I said, if you fill this cup with some type of, um, milky liquid it's actually going to pick up the design better just kind of like this so just imagine if this was filled with white or pink and again i will insert like a photo or a video of what it looks like when it's actually filled here is the final result you guys the one on the left here is our uv dtf and then the cup on the right after it is filled with a milky pink liquid here is what it looks like. This is with our sublimation prints. So you guys can go ahead and find these on our website. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.